this is Wendy with Loaves and Dishes and today we're going to make something really delicious. Garlic ginger paste. You'll need these things, garlic, ginger, salt, and olive oil. And the first thing you'll want to do is to peel your ginger and peel your garlic. Now, um, when it comes to amounts, there's no set amount you have to have of either of these. You just want basically the same amount. So in the actual recipe, I put down three ounces of ginger and three ounces of garlic, but just so that you can eyeball it and tell that they're roughly the same amount, you'll be doing fine. So for me, I had about eight inches of, gar of ginger and about two whole heads of garlic and that works out just fine well now my dog's barking <laughs> that's ziggy he wanted to be in the video too so then you can peel your um garlic by there's a couple ways to do it i usually find that just smashing it with a knife and peeling it this way is easiest there's also a way that you can do it by putting it in a mason jar and putting the lid on and just shaking it really hard. It usually makes my arm pretty tired. So, um, <laughs> anyway, once you get your everything peeled, you want to cut your ginger into roughly the same size pieces as your garlic. And then, um, once you have that done, you'll put that all in the bowl of your food processor and um, there it goes in and then you want to add your olive oil and a little salt put the lid on you want to pulse it a few times this is greatly sped up but pulse it a few times scrape down the sides give it a few more pulses and you'll just do this until it looks like a paste that you would want to add to your dinner and then there are so many uses for this just use it in the same way that you would use anything that has minced garlic and you'll be really happy with it that's it for today just put it in a jar and save it for later stick it in the fridge you'll be so happy see you next time hey this is wendy thanks so much for watching this video i hope you'll join sarah and i on our mother daughter adventures and takeout you can find Dorks with Sports wherever you download podcasts or at dorkswithsports.com.